Lessons K and I have done a little update video, so I wanted to kick off this early Friday morning, Memorial Day weekend, Friday, um, with a little video. So, uh, what's going on? What's going on? Well, happy Memorial Day weekend to everyone. I'm sure you all have some fun plans. Weston and I actually have a wedding this weekend. It's the first wedding we've done in almost a year. That, that's Kimmy texting me. <laughs> almost a year, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we stopped there for a little bit, but we just couldn't stay away. So we do about four years. So we have one tomorrow. Um, and believe it or not, I'm kind of nervous because I haven't done one in a while, but I'm excited. Uh, also, Kimmy, you guys have heard, um, is working from Washington, which is probably why you're not seeing quite as many videos of us these days. Um, it's different. It's a change. Uh, we miss her like crazy around here. It's definitely strange not seeing her every morning with her cup of coffee and uh, her bright-eyed and bushy-tailed here in the morning early. But um, it's totally working and we are excited for new things. We've actually got some other fun things on the horizon. So always, um, always trying to move forward and find new fun ways to kind of use our creative talents, I guess you could call them. I don't know. What do you call them? Um, anyways, so I also wanted to let you guys know there are still about four spots available for our June workshop. Usually these guys almost always fill up so it's exciting because if you've been considering coming to one of our workshops you now have an opportunity um, to kind of get one in soon. One thing we should mention is we're probably only doing one other workshop this year so then that one's gonna fill up really quick it'll probably be sometime in August so if you know for sure you want to be coming to a workshop in the next um, I don't know I'd say like six months or that no how, much, how long is that like eight months I would consider this June one and what else? Oh, some big things around the studio we wanted to let you guys know about. We actually changed our entire business model. Uh, Kimmy and I are always looking for ways to kind of listen to our clients and figure out how to give them more value while still maintaining our profitability. And kind of, we are again a high volume studio, so we're a lot different than a a lot of the photographers out there um, that have more boutique studios, so we have to make sure that we're always finding ways to bring in those 500 clients a year. And so we're listening to their wants and needs and kind of changing things up. So really what um, where we're making a majority of our income is in the shoot itself and making sure that we're giving them um, an amazing shoot. And then also we're including digital files now, which you guys might notice on our website. So things are changing and people are booking like crazy. Um, again, we want to, we always want to kind of put in the disclaimer that you can't just kind of uh, apply our packages to your business because our business is different. Kimmy and I don't really shoot as much as um, the average photographer shoots. So she and I are just kind of doing those higher packages one or two times a week and we've got the staff and the big team here kind of bringing in that high volume and that number of shoots that's needed to um, kind of maintain the studio, make us all happy here. So that's exciting and um, one really cool thing is as a team we set a crazy goal. We thought, well, if we're going to need these 500 clients a year and we're going to be shooting 100 productions a year, which if you know our packages, you know what that means, um, then we need to be bringing in about 100 productions a month, which seems like crazy. It's basically like 100 shoots a month. Um, and that just seems kind of scary, but we knew that the demand was out there. We get about 12 plus inquiries. Um, a day, which means if we can convert those into clients, we're, we're solid, we're perfect. So one thing that we did is as a team we said, okay, well if we can book 50 productions in two weeks to kick off this big business model and this big um, kind of new revamp we're doing, then we all get a raise. We all get, um, a, everyone on staff gets a raise, so that's really exciting. And what was crazy was 50 productions in two weeks, that's booking that many clients, that's crazy. We've never been able to do something like that. So everyone kind of uh, went full steam ahead. Danielle impressed us so much with kind of her eagerness to get these going and she had a countdown. Uh, so it started at 50 and as she counted down within the two weeks, um, it just kept going. And what's crazy is there's still technically uh, six days left and we've already exceeded that goal by 18 productions. So just showing that boudoir is in so much demand and there's uh, so many people out there who want a boudoir shoot, we just have to make sure that we're creating packages that um, 
help our clients and help your studio. So it's a win-win situation for both. So we're so stoked about that. Um, what else? I had some notes because I wouldn't want to miss anything. Um, I guess that's I guess that's kind of it. I there's other little things going on here, but um, kind of revamping our uh, website. There's a lot that goes into changing your prices and changing your business model and changing your marketing. So we're slowly but surely making sure that all of that uh, on the site matches with what we're doing here now. And yeah, creating new menus, all that stuff. So that's a little update from us. Nothing terribly exciting going on. Um, as usual, Kimmy and I do have. A kind of big announcement we're hoping to make in the next few months about um, a new fun direction we're going with some things. So keep your eye out. Eye out? Ear out? What, what would I say? Whatever. You know what I'm saying for that. And talk to you guys soon. Here comes Dina. We're here. Say hi, Dean. Hi. Pop your head through. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Bye guys, talk to you later. He loves me too, he's forgiven me, he's forgiven you when he's thought of it.